God for the sun. Is it finished now? Half an hour ago. Were you with her all night? Yes. She'd take the risk. You do. It's my duty. Go up to bed now. I'm seeing Ron this afternoon. He came every Sunday all through the winter. He keeps asking me to go away with him. Will you go? The worst thing of all is that I've lost count. What do you mean? I can remember when the Wilsons died because Deborah was the first one I looked after. But I've forgotten some. It's 65. Thomas Allen died this morning. And Joan. 66. I can't remember so many. William has been keeping the burial register. It seems the least we can do. Perhaps it will go on till there's nothing but bare walls and ruins and ivy. God will have mercy. Perhaps he has forgotten about us. We should go home and sleep now. My mother is at home if you want to see her. She never leaves that chair, except to take the flowers to the graveyard. I promise I'd bring her a basket of cakes today. She won't understand you. Nevertheless. After a time, you become cold. A conscious possession of faces, till each one is the same. The same face. They can't all have been people. To be one day alive and the next underground in a box, it just doesn't make sense. What should I say to him? Yes, I'll be your wife. We will go for away from here and it will be as if it never happened. But it did happen. There are dead ones to prove it. So we can only stand here like nine pins and wait for the ball to hit or miss us. Okay. I thought I'd missed you. <laughs> no, you must keep away from me today. Why? The plague isn't over. But you told me last week. That was last week. I was up all night with Joan Blackwell. What do you mean? You... I've been helping the rector's wife with the sick since February. Emmett, have you gone bad? Roland. Haven't you been in enough danger with your own family? She's a woman of great strength, Roland. But she see... but... but she needs help. Everybody else is too frightened. I've seen and touched so many poor scabbed bodies, I must be immune by now. And you've done your share. Haven't you suffered enough? I'm still alive. What did your mother say? My mother is a child now. Every day she goes to the churchyard with fresh flowers and sits for hours talking to Father Ellen and Sarah and John in the ground. <clears throat> she is more with them than us. That makes it definite. You must come away. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? First warm day of spring. Emma! Everything's beginning to grow again now that the sun's back. Flowers budding, new leaves, animals coming back to life, toads crawling from under stones. What will happen in June, June July, August? If we're sensible, we won't wait to find out. Go down now and get your mother, and we will be away by tonight. Poor Roland. I feel so sorry for you. Emmett, what's wrong with you today? Nothing. You're so remote. I'm not going to see you anymore. Emmett. Go now, Roland. Each minute it makes it worse. Let me kiss you at least. Goodbye, Evan. Goodbye. I've been watching an ant build a house. They're building houses in the Thornleys field. Two narrow houses, six foot deep. One room and bed for the night. There was a... They were all in a line, walking along with grass and straw. They went in a hole by the corner of the wall. How many more of us will end up sleeping in that field? I kicked it all up to see what was inside, and they ran out all over the place. Or will we be dead in the streets and unburied? So I trod on them. They was all on their backs, waving their broken little legs, and all crying. Ants don't make noises. It was very quiet. Have you heard the news? It is dying. That's not news, boy. News is something is different from usual. Like, nobody's died today. Anyway, I've heard about Annie Frith. It's not her. Someone else, is it? The frail lady. The pretty one who gave me the coat. The rector's wife. The lady from the church. <laughs> and God
God help us all! One of our props is falling. Marshall, help! Marshall, help! Not today, boy. You must come, Marshall, help! There's another- <laughs> You must come now, Marshall, there's another one left alone! Who is it this time? The old man! Which old man? Not the one who left went away, the other one! Unwin? That's it, Nunwin! He's lying on the floor and he's dead! Unwin dead? It must be the end of the world. Come on, Marshal Howe! I've finished my digging now, boy. Come on! Sixty or seventy I've buried. One every day and some days two or three. I never cared. I wasn't frightened to touch the scabby bodies. I was too strong for it. But my wife died three days ago. Where have you been, Marshal Howe? I haven't seen you. I made that grave too. Mechanically like the others, but I couldn't throw the earth in. I stood there for half an hour, just looking at her in the room. Sometimes we sing, Marshall Howe, don't we? You, and you shovel? And I use my hands. I lad, we do. But my son Billy died this morning, and there'll be no digging now. Don't cry, Marshall Howe. I don't like it when you cry. No, lad. Come on, then. I promised the old devil I'd bury him, so I'd be, I'd better be good to my word. And we'll sing too, like before. I will sing, lad, if you like. Oh, no, we'll just stop. There he is, Marshall Howe. Aye, there you are, you poor old devil. Old Nick got you at last, has he? Well, not before time. Shall we bury him in the garden? Hang on, lad, hang on. I'm looking for something. What is it, Marshall Howe? Tell me. You just wait and see. Something special. Something he owes me. Yeah, ha! You bet that pipe down! Good God! I caught you, didn't I? Get back on the floor, you're supposed to be dead. Well, I'm not so fair. Flesh and blood, that is. Rich body and flesh and blood don't say. Give me that pipe. You were definitely dead. I saw you. I well, I may have been. And then again, I may not have been. Maybe I was just having a rest. Cold you were, like ice. Cold you was in September, isn't it? You'll be cold when you get to my age, if you should be so lucky. I thought you were dead, Nunwin. Ah, that'll be the day. You can put up the shutters when that day comes. Listen, boy. Next time you come to my cottage and see me stretched out on the floor, you don't run round the whole village shouting, Old Unwin's dead! Old Unwin's dead! You shout, I think Old Unwin's dead. Well, if that's good enough for Jesus Unwin, it's good enough for you, eh? That is blasphemy, Marshall Howe, and you know it. Are you going to sit there talking all day, or are you going to get me a drink? Are you sure you feel well enough for a drink? When I don't, you can start digging. Emmett, Emmett, where are you? It's me, Roland. Nothing? Are they all dead? I heard the bell, and I galloped the commander. Don't zoom. But this is beyond Sorry. belief. There are flowers and weeds in the street. A foot high, with no people. She must be here somewhere. At the house, the door's off the hinge, and there's grass growing through the cracks in the flags. It takes a long time for grass to grow. She must be here somewhere. All we had to do was wait. Emmett, Emmett. Francis. Hello, Roland. Emmett. No. It's me, Francis. For a moment I thought, have you seen her? Who? Emmett Siddell. You remember, you were going to be married. Oh yes, a long time ago. A few months, that's all. Her mother lives up in a dell, in a cave, I think. In a cave? Is Emmett with her? Emmett? She's dead. When? Why? I can't remember dates. You'll find her in the rectory's booth with all the others. The end of April, I think. All that time ago, hardly a week after I went, I must go to her mother. This place is a graveyard. <laughs>